Evolutionary biology is not just about things that happened long ago. Evolution is also something that's happening right now. For instance, a bacterium that's evolving resistance to an antibiotic in a hospital, or bird virus that's evolving the ability to infect a human being. Now, there are two main aspects of evolutionary theory that help us make sense of the biological data we have. One is the reason that organisms adapt to the environment is the mechanism of natural selection. Two, all life is related, having evolved from a common ancestor that lived long ago. These things are also true at the molecular level, which is what this course is about. The reason, for instance, that a ribosomal RNA gene in E. coli looks like a ribosomal RNA gene in a human being is that we both inherited that gene from a common ancestor. Imagine a DNA sequence inside a population of ancestral organisms. As this population splits and resplits, forming new species, the DNA inside will acquire mutations, resulting in a present-day set of related but different sequences. Using computational methods, it's possible to go back, inferring the underlying history from these sequences alone. On this course, you will get hands-on experience with using different software packages for doing exactly this. You will learn about the theory behind the methods and you will learn about the forces that drive these evolutionary changes.